Hi, I'm Joy, and I research how computers detect, recognize, and classify people's faces. The system I was using worked well on my lighter skinned friend's face, but when it came to detecting my face, it didn't do so well. Until I put on a white mask. Yes, I think AI is racist because uh, the data from which it has learned is from human beings, and human beings in different cultures are racist. So it's not a question of, is AI racist? It's an issue of, what are we putting into the AI systems that we are getting problematic decisions out of the AI systems? I want to highlight the, the research paper that we published at in Lancet Digital Health. And um, the main issue that we found that even though AI models were trained to look at different kinds of disease pathologies, different um, organs of the body, um, however, uh, those models were very good at identifying important and sometimes not important demographic information about patients. So it was able to identify the patient's race, gender, age, but even when it was not trained to identify race, and, and that is why we don't know how the AI models are able to do this, which is why even if the AI model is making its decisions based on the race information, when race does not play any role in the clinical relevance, um, it is still able to use that information, which I don't think humans can then identify why it has made that made that decision, uh, which is why it's it's harmful and, and might be causing danger. Facial recognition is a kind of AI. Uh, and it tends to be uh, biased against people with darker skin. It tends to recognize uh, men better than women. It tends to recognize people with light skin better than people with dark skin. And it tends to recognize women with dark skin much worse than it recognizes men with light skin. Uh, if a technology works this poorly, I think it should not be used in policing. AI is not an unstoppable force, it's just math. <laughs>